Hello everybody, welcome back to Fun Freak Vlogs. Um, today's only going to be a short one. So, I've started my own business as a sound engineer. So I've been ordering quite a lot of stuff. Um, one of the, uh, two of the things being uh, some stage monitors. Another thing being four professional vocal mics. Uh, a couple of little short stands for like guitar cabs and things like that. But today I thought I would just, you know, do an unboxing for you guys because in a second, um, five mic stands from Gear for Music and also some drum mics are turning up. And I'm really looking forward to opening up these drum mics. Um, if you want to check out uh, my Facebook page for my sound engineering business, I'll put the link down in the description. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you when everything turns up and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff as well. So, see you in a bit. Just like that, we have two packages. Uh, UPS has just come and delivered. Yes, I am using a very shiny blade to unbox these things. Anyway, um, so like I said, uh, drum mics. Uh, this is the last of the stuff in the previous little cinematic bit. You saw the rest of the stuff that I've got. This completes everything. So we've got like the mic stands in here and we've also got the drum mics in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll go for the mic stands first. Go for the mic stands first and then go from there basically. Um, God knows I'm gonna open this. Try. Turn up this way. Never slice towards yourself. Probably not the wisest of ideas. Right, so I'll oh, move the box. Oh, let's move it. There we go. Okay. We have one mic stand, two mic stand, three mic stand, four mic stand, and mic stand number five. There we go, and that's everything in that box. Right there. Uh, let's get into one of these mic stands and check out the quality. Right, so here is the mic stand. Ba da da ba da. Uh, how do you get in these things? Pull down that. Pull down that. Boom, sesame. Okay, shut the box. Okay. Unwrap you. Let's see how you're built. You're built in good. Open side. Looks a lot. Goes down nice. Stands there nice. Uh, let's do that. Cool. Quite a nice boom. Ok, 
Okay, they're made out of plastic. Nothing wrong with that. The Titan. Yep, Titans. Nice. The Titans. Nice. They're not bad. What they are. Um bit on the cheap side. A bit wonky. Uh whether that's the way it's built. Um I don't know. A bit wobbly. They're quite lightweight. Very lightweight actually. Um all in all. I'm pleasantly surprised. They come with the clip to keep your XLR cables out of the way. And I'm gonna unpack the rest and then put them in the gravity bag that I showed you in the in the uh, little montage bit. Started there at the right time, didn't I? So basically as cheap mic stands go, it's metal, um, downside, all the joints that you tighten up are cheap plastic. Mm. As far as having them on the stand, they're not very pleasing to look at and they're quite wobbly. Probably snap and bend easy. At the end of the day, uh, yeah, you want your stage set up to look really good downside these won't make it look good <coughs> um but i'm not the one using them the band are so if they break it's a cheap replacement i'm gonna start putting them in the gator bag which is here comes very much like you know very handy these bags um yeah, so let's put the first one in. They're quite short as well, which is all right, I guess. Keep it in there. There's another. These gator bags are really, really. They're gravity bags. Why am I saying gator? It's because I have a gator case on my mixing desk, that's why. They're very good and they come in handy. Um, things like this. Alright, there we go. And all five of them are in, and plus my little booms. What I don't understand though is they're very cheaply made, yet my um, GIF music uh, mini boom stands are. Everything is metal and built absolutely fantastic. I think these might be their older model of uh, mic stands. Um, but, you know, I'm happy at the end of the day. All right, um, now let's tighten this up. There we go. Whole bag full of mic stands. Let's move on to the next product. So next up, I have a thing I'm more looking forward to. That is my drum mics. These are the SE V Pack Arena. They cost me uh, 900 quid. 900 British pounds for these. Um, the most expensive drum mics I have gotten Let's have a look. I've heard very, very, very good things about these mics. Outstanding things, actually. And I'm looking forward to seeing them. Um, I won't be able to test them today, but I will. Uh, I will do a test when I next have a gig. <sighs> right, here we go. In the box. This, everything is padded around nicely. That'll come in handy. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There we 
we go. Some more really nice squidgy foam padding will come in handy for a future event. There we go. They come in a very nice hard heavy duty case. Let's undo the tape for a minute. Try to find where to peel back. There we go. A little bit of sticky tape holding the lid closed. Right. Now, there we go. That is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, let's see what we've got here in the package. We've got, there we go, we've got some instructions here. So these, this manual here is for the V-Kick, V-B and V-Clamps. This one here is for the SE8. This one is for the V7X. I've also got a giant decal sticker and also a vinyl SE sticker there. <coughs> Put them there for the time being. Got some silica gels to keep everything in tip top shape. We have squidgy foam pad for the overheads. Very nice indeed. Let's remove these silica gels put them in the box. Right, where do we start? Um, I'll take the silica gel out as well. We've got another foam pad for the SE8. Let's have a look at these first. See what these are like, okay? They're all wrapped up very tight in their own little bags. There we go, let's open this up. Lovely. And look, there's also miniature silica gels inside to make sure the ports don't get grubby. Now here we are, look. Here is the SE8. Uh, by the looks of it, it has its own uh, pad and DB uh, thing. These are very, very nice indeed really nicely built as well they are amazing right there um and there we go for reference with the foam pad on top here we go very very nicely built indeed um let's see what it looks like underneath this chassis oh there we go look you can interchange so there is the mic part and you can interchange them and that is very very nice indeed oh wow and they have golden plated uh xlr uh pins as well so what i'll do is i'll put this one over this side put it right there there we go uh we also have some little clamps for them there uh, we have got the we've got the clip for them right in there we go got the clips for them these are very very nice microphones indeed and I actually gobsmacked on how nice these actually are right now. Um, let's open up this one. There we go, take a little silica gel out. Not making mess everywhere. There we go, is the other one. Very nicely built, again. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic right there. Right, let's put this one back in nicely. There we go. Um, 
yeah what do we move on to now <coughs> we've got another uh for the one of the boom stands because this is the snare mic now going on to i've got the uh v7 black uh dynamic vocal microphones and in this pack we have got the se v7x microphone and this is an instrument mic which is a bit thinner than the other ones a bit more weighty as well very very nice quality um you've got your inner suspension on as well right there everything is built absolutely uh amazingly and this has some nice weight to it as well i'm very very pleased about that put that back on so yeah that would go towards your snare drum that is very very nice there we go um then we have the v kick which is here um may i say that all of these do come with their own little attachment jobbies um in case you need in case you have a different sort of mic stand put that back in there uh, this is the v kick very weighty very nice indeed the kick right here let's see if we can get you out there we go so this is the v kick once again the golden plated uh bit down there uh you've also got different modes on the back so like modern and classic and stuff like this these are very very nice let's see what's inside of you anything exciting have a look here that is very nice indeed got the suspension again it's all very very nice very nice indeed screw that back up this is actually amazing amazing bit of kit right here so there is the SEV kick let's put you back there we go uh, and now we have some more silica gel I'll be eating that for my dinner later then we have the V beat which is a uh, this is for the toms tom toms the drum kit there we go more silica gel there we go these are very 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 nice really nice actually and then you've got the adjuster so you can adjust them up and down on the kit as you like these are very very nice uh, can't fault it i really can't fault this they are amazing okay put you back <coughs> and then we've got two more of the exact same so all in all this kit is mine it's blowing my mind it is amazing and really well built um and i'm really happy to have it so yeah so that concludes this review on these items um highly recommend this pack and go and watch some proper you know uh sound quality tests of these um because everything i've heard these are the things that are better than sure sm58 and sm57 so definitely go and check it out and i will see you guys in the next video please like please subscribe see you in the next one